peanuts go into Peter Pan. It's the peanuttiest. Getting a new hat for the luncheon, Helen? What luncheon? Why, Thelma, don't tell me you've forgotten. Forgotten? Mm -hmm. I wasn't even invited. Why, I haven't been invited anywhere for weeks. What's wrong with me, anyway? What's wrong, Helen? Maybe it's your breath. But new green mint mouthwash stops oral bad breath three ways better than antiseptics. One destroys mouth odor itself, even from onions, smoking, telltale beverages, not just germs. Because green mint contains exclusive chloroquat plus a new mouth sweetener. Two, even mixed with water, green mint has 37% more penetrating power. Three, tastes so good, leaves no antiseptic smell. Yes, with green mint, there's always a happy ending. Your mouth tastes so minty fresh, you know your breath is safe. Used professionally by over 10,000 dentists, green mint stops oral bad breath three ways better. Thanks for all the stuff, Mom. Oh, you're welcome, dear. Anytime you want to use it again, just let me know. Okay. Uh oh, watch out for that crack in the cement, Pop. Okay. Well, we better get that fixed before somebody falls and breaks a leg. Oh, come on now. It's not that bad. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, okay dear. Give my love to Junie. Yeah, me too. I will. I think so. Uh, fortunately, I'm pretty well padded in certain areas. <laughs> See, it's this section right in through here. Yeah. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Nelson, I think it'd be better if I did the whole walk. Otherwise, it's going to look kind of like a patched-up job. Oh, well, yeah, I see what you mean. Well, uh, that's okay. Is it all right if I use the air hammer? It's a little noisy, but it's the best way to handle this. Oh, well, I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> well, I might as well get started right away, then. Well, that'd be fine. Okay. How's it going? Oh, uh, fine. He's going to get started right away. Oh, good. Well, he's going to do the whole walk, so it won't look like a patched-up job. What about the handprints? What handprints? Well, David and Ricky's. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten all about those. <laughs> Look at the size of those hands. I know. I'd almost forgotten they were ever that small. It's a shame to lose them. Afraid they have to go. Yeah, I guess so. Time marches on. Make way for progress. How about some coffee? It's all ready. Those little handprints are kind of cute, though. Yeah, I know. I remember the spanking you gave the boys for putting them there. I <laughs> did. I was just wondering if we shouldn't leave those handprints out there. Well, let's put it this way. When was the last time you looked at them? <laughs> About five minutes ago. <laughs> I, mean, I bet we've both walked over them thousands of times without even realizing they were there. Yeah, I guess you're right. What are you smiling at? Oh, I was just thinking. Just about everything in this house brings back some wonderful memories. Remember the first time Ricky took a train ride all by himself? Oh, yeah, I sure do. I remember the morning he brought in a letter from Johnny something or other, inviting him to stay overnight. I was sitting right there reading. That's quite a character. Uh, they both were. Remember the next morning they were both up bright and early getting Rick packed for the trip? I'll never forget it. Oh. Bye, son. Bye, Pop. Can you see him? Oh, there he is, right up at the window. Oh, he's waiting to us. Bye. Bye. Have a good time, son. There he goes. He's on his way. Yep, he's on his way. Yeah. Mr. Hayes! Uh, 
Uh, could I talk to you for a minute? It isn't too noisy for you, is it? Oh, 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 oh no, uh, nothing like that. I hope you haven't changed your mind. <laughs> no, 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 but my wife and I were wondering, uh, do you suppose you could work around that section and just leave it as it is? Well, I guess I could, but I don't think it'd look too good to patch around it. Well, do you have any suggestions? Well, why don't I just lift that piece out for you if you want to keep it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that sounds like a good idea. Would you do that, please? Sure. Uh, I, 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 I was wondering, oh, that, that, that's okay, never mind. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Nelson, everybody likes to give it a try. Oh, see. <laughs> How do you think it looks? That looks pretty good for an old hunk of cement. <laughs> well, it, it's not just a hunk of cement. Something that brings back wonderful memories to your mother and me. You understand when you have a couple of little guys of your own. Well, I'll take your word for it. Uh, do you want to wait till Mom gets a look at it, or should we move it now? <laughs> That's not the right attitude. Let's see what she says. Oh, uh, Harriet, uh, how do you like it? Oh. I really think this is the most appropriate room for it. I mean, our albums and our old pictures are here. It's kind of an informal room. Well, that's true. It's certainly in a perfect spot where everybody can see it. Well, that's the part that bothers me. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I just don't think that's the place for it. Well, where do you think we ought to put it? How about sliding it under the sofa? Well, I think it should be some place where we see it when we want to, but not where it's the first thing you see when you walk into the room. Well, how about in back of the sofa? Okay, you're dismissed. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Not until he helps you move it out of here. Hey, come on, let's go, Rick. Well, wait a minute, where are we going? Well, uh, I thought you knew. Oh, I was just following you. <laughs> well, let, let's figure this out. Uh, Pop, uh, let's put it down and then figure it out. <laughs> Hey, how about making a wall plaque out of it? Well, at least you could give me a dirty look so I know you heard me. <laughs> It'd make a nice cornerstone for a pyramid. Oh, come on, you guys. We ought to be able to think of something. Anybody home? Well, hi, Joe. Come on in. Hi, oh, Joe. thanks, Oz. Hi, Harriet. Rick. What's going on here? Well, we've got a little problem. Oh, yeah. I sure wouldn't eat that raw. <laughs> Where'd this come from? Well, out in front of the house. Oh, yeah. What are we waiting for it to do? <laughs> We're trying to figure out where to put it. You want some coffee? Yeah, sounds good, Harry. You can take my place, Mr. Randolph. Oh, thanks, Rick. See those uh, kids' handprints there. I'd kind of like to save them. I don't blame you. That's very nice. You're a real sentimental family. I like that. Well, oh, thank you. The only thing is, though, we can't figure out what to do with it. Well, whatever you do with it, don't throw it away. I'll tell you this much, I'd sure like to have it. Well, uh, that's very nice. So what would you do with it? Well, it's just about the right size. It sure has a substantial look to it. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. And, and I like the way it curves in there. It'll make it easier to loop a chain around it. Chain? Yeah, I thought I'd tie a chain around it and drop it in the lake. It'll make a nice mooring for my boat. <laughs> hey, if I could lift this, I'd throw it at you. Well, it was just a thought. If you should change your mind, let me know. Well, if you're looking for a hunk of cement, there's plenty of it out in front of the house. Yeah, I saw it, but it's broken up in little pieces. Well, you don't think we saved this so you could dump it in the lake, do you? Oh, I know that, Oz. What are you going to do with it? Well, we'll figure out something. It's not a very deep lake. You can always rent an aqualung and go down and look at it any time you want. <laughs> we did put our stick in his coffee. Well... <laughs> What do you think? It looks 
good. It looks better after I get it painted. Let's try it anyway. You need any help? No, thanks. Harriet! Harriet! Yeah. Oh, is it all finished? Uh, it will be as soon as I get it painted. Put the top on it. Uh, Rick, will you get me a hand with this? Oh, I tell you, I get tired of lifting this thing. Well, what do you think? Yeah, it's different. Do you think maybe it might be a little top heavy? Oh. <laughs> I was just wondering the same thing myself. Looks like a good gust of wind would blow it over. <laughs> You know, wherever Peter Pan peanut butter is served, the same thing happens. Everybody has a good word for Peter Pan. Peanuttiest. Peanuttiest. That's the good word, peanuttiest. You know why? Well, those Peter Pan people are mighty picky about peanuts. They start with the best grade. Then, through an exclusive process, they remove peanuts that may not be sweet enough, <laughs> tender enough, fresh tasting enough. Only the choicest of the choice, the peanuttiest peanuts. The sweetest, tenderest, freshest tasting peanuts go into Peter Pan. This means Peter Pan costs a little more, but all oh, the eating is worth it. What's a good word? Peanuttiest? Enter. Hey, we could probably use it for a doorstop. Yeah, or we could heat it up at night and use it for a bed warmer. Hey, here's an idea. Maybe Dave and June would like to have it. What have you got against Dave and June? <laughs> well, uh, nothing, but you know how brides are. They're very sentimental. They like to save things like locks of hair or old snapshots or baby booties. Or an old hunk of cement. <laughs> I mean it. Uh, maybe they'd like to have it. Well, why don't you call them up and ask them? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, would you like to call them? No, thanks. You go right ahead. <laughs> You go, Pop. Maybe you'll be lucky and they won't be home. Oh. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello, Dave. Oh, hi, Pop. Uh, I just thought you'd like to know we took your advice. Uh, we're having that front sidewalk repaired. Oh, good. Uh, but don't worry, we saved your handprints. Uh, what handprints? You know, uh, the handprints you and Rick put in the sidewalk when you were little kids. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, see, I had the man take that whole section out, and uh, we thought maybe you and June would like to have it. Dave? I think he hung up. Oh, uh, no, I didn't, Pop. I was just... Well, I just didn't know quite what to say. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, I, uh, I know what you mean. But it seems a shame just to throw it away. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, gee, Pop, honestly, I, I don't know what we do with it up here. You know, our place is kind of small. Well, uh, yeah, I, I know that. Well, it was just a thought. Uh, how's June? Oh, uh, she's fine, thanks. Oh, good. Well, we'll see you, Dave. Bye. Hey, uh, look, I have an idea. Uh, uh, why don't we put this up in the attic until we can figure out what to do with it? Oh, well, here we go again. <laughs> Easy does it, fellas. Uh, I didn't realize that darn thing was so heavy. I also didn't realize there were so many steps leading up to the attic. Where did you put it? Uh, up in the attic. No, I mean, where in the attic? Well, up near the old trunk. Why? Oh, I was just wondering. Where would that be from here? Well, let's see, just about... Yeah, uh, right up there. Oh. <laughs> Come on, now, don't be ridiculous. Certainly not gonna fall through the ceiling. What well, makes you so sure? Because it's not that heavy, and this is a well-constructed house. Is it over here or over there? <laughs> Ricky! <laughs> Ricky!
once and for all, are you sure you want to throw it out? Well, I must admit I hate to do it, but we just don't have any choice. Uh, you finished there, Rick? Yeah, just about. I guess you better throw it in the big trash can. I think they have a pickup on Monday. Now, wait a minute. You're not going to throw it in the trash can. <laughs> well, why not? Well, they'll take it down to City Dump. Well, naturally, what about it? Well, it just doesn't seem right to have it down there with all those old beer cans and broken bottles. <laughs> oh, come on, Harriet. No, I mean it. Well, let's look at this sensibly. What makes this different than any old hunk of cement? It's the boys' handprints and their names, right? Right. Okay. But if it were broken up into little pieces, it'd be just a bunch of old broken up pieces of cement. Well, I guess you're right. How do we break it up? Well, I can take a sledgehammer and do it. Do we have one? Well, no, but I'll bet Mr. Hayes has one out in his truck. I'll go ask him. Uh, good morning, Mr. Hayes. Oh, hi, Miss Nelson. Yeah, hey, that's a real nice job you're doing there. Well, thanks very much. It won't be long now. Uh, say, do you happen to have a sledgehammer I could borrow? Yeah, I got one right out in the truck. Something I can help you with? Oh, uh, no, thanks. I think I can handle it. I just want to break up that hunk of cement I asked you not to break up. Right now. Uh, just a minute. Well, here we go. I'm gonna stand back there. Wait! What's the matter? I just don't want to watch this. Well, why don't you go in the house? Are you sure you want to do this? Well, I thought it was all decided. Well, I'm sorry. You go ahead. I just don't want to watch it. Do pull out my sacrilege or something? Oh, I'm sorry, Oz. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm trying to break this thing up. What for? I thought you were going to save it. Well, we were, but we couldn't figure out anything to do with it. We're too sentimental to throw it away, and frankly, I'm glad you stopped me when you did, because I'm just too chicken to break it up. Well, my offer still stands. It'd make a perfect mooring for my boat up at the lake, and you could dive down and look at it any time you wanted to. <laughs> When are you going up there? This afternoon. In fact, Clara's getting ready right now. You know something, Joe? I think I'll take you up on that. Now you're talking, Oz. That's a very sensible decision. I'd better return the sledgehammer before I change my mind. Thanks a lot. Uh, that's okay, Oz. Yeah, we took it over in the car. Well, I'm glad that's settled. Yeah, I still wish we could have thought of some place to keep it around here, though. Yeah. Of course, it's too late now, but I just thought of something. What's that? Well, it would have made a perfect stepping stone out there by the garage. You know that place that's always muddy? Hey, yeah, we could set it right in the ground there by the door. It'd look real nice. I wish I'd thought of it sooner. Say, do you think they've left yet? Well, they were going to leave in about five minutes. Hey, maybe I can still catch it. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Hey. Here, you, you want me to give you a hand? Uh, uh, that's okay, thanks. Well, do you think the stuff will come off? Yeah, I think so. You may have to let it dry first. That was a beautiful dive, Oz. Too bad there wasn't any water in the pool. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought you were on your way up to the lake. Well, I came over to tell you about that hunk of cement. We're not taking it up to the lake after all. What's this? While I was loading it in the car, I accidentally dropped it in that muddy spot by the patio. Nick's a great stepping stone. <laughs> How about that? We were going to use it for the same thing. Well, it'll still be all right. 
We can go over there and take a look at it anytime we want. Well, not exactly, Harry. Did you see, when I dropped it, it fell face down. <laughs> Yeah, but that's all right. I'll be happy to help you pry it loose. Oh. Hey, look at that outline, Harriet. All I have to do is autograph and I'll make a perfect coffee table for the living room. A, a wonderful conversation piece. What do you think? Mr. Hayes, would you mind? <laughs> You know, wherever Peter Pan peanut butter is served, the same thing happens. Everybody has a good word for Peter Pan. Peanuttiest. Peanuttiest. That's the good word, peanuttiest. You know why? Well, those Peter Pan people are mighty picky about peanuts. They start with the best grade. Then, through an exclusive process, they remove peanuts that may not be sweet enough, tender enough, fresh-tasting enough. Only the choicest of the choice, the peanuttiest peanuts. The sweetest, tenderest, freshest-tasting peanuts go into Peter Pan. This means Peter Pan costs a little more, but all oh, the eating is worth it. What's the magic word? Hey, not is. It's gone. <laughs> That's showbiz. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet was brought to you by Peter Pan Peanut Butter. Only the sweetest, freshest, peanuttiest peanuts go into Peter Pan. It's the peanuttiest.